Welcome back friends. In previous videos we discussed about the, the topic of hybridization and today let's proceed in the case of hybridization in a molecule. So when we are talking about hybridization in a molecule, what do we mean? Simply this means that within a certain molecule, taking an example, maybe a thin or maybe methane. So as we discussed in the previous videos, that if you are taking methane and methane is CH4, that means we will have carbon and then hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So when we are discussing about the hybridization the molecule, we are looking at hybridization of the central atom. A central atom is an atom bonded to more than one atom. So this is for example methane and then if we are moving to ethane we shall see it is it is double bonds and then hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So now what is the hybridization of this carbon molecule or hybridization of this carbon molecule? And for example, if it could be this is a thin, not ethane. I mean this is a thin. So for the case of ethane, ethane, it could be carbon, single bond carbon, then hydrogen, 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 then hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. What is the hybridization of this carbon or this carbon? And I assume you are talking the case of propene. And for the case of propene, saying you have carbon, then carbon, then carbon, carbon. Here you have hydrogen, hydrogen. Here you have one hydrogen, and here you have three hydrogen. So maybe what is the hybridization of carbon number one, hybridization of carbon number two, and hybridization of carbon number three? So these three carbon. This, 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 they have different types of hybridization. Now let's go to discuss <coughs> about it, how hybridization occur. So in this case, we look carbon atom in carbon molecules. The hybridization molecule can be described as, so as usual, hybridization can be sp, sp2, sp3, sp3d or sp3d2 any kind of hybridization can occur so let's see some examples here so taking an example a molecule with sp3 hybridization hybridization sp3 hybridization now if you remember we said we discussed about the sigma and the pi bond and if you remember we say the sigma bonds sigma bond they are formed by hybridized hybridized orbitals while the pi bond pi bond they are formed by an hybridized hybridized orbitals now from the same concept for example now if you are seeing carbon then triple bond carbon you should understand that one of these three bonds this one bond is sigma and the remaining two they are pi bonds so what does it mean this is formed by hybridized orbital But these two bonds, they are formed by an hybridized orbital. So, for example, in this case, means the excitation, excitation of electron, excitation of electrons may occur, but not all electrons which have been excited will undergo hybridization. <coughs> Now, taking an example, a carbon atom, 
carbon atom with electronic configuration with electronic configuration of 1s2 2s2 2p so this is ground state ground state and then in excited state it will appear as then here it will remain with one electron so one of the electron here will be excited here and another electron there so it will be like this excited state so now here we have four unpaired electrons so it depends on how we want to use these four unpaired electrons to form bond and the the use of these four unpaired electrons will result into different types of hybridization now from here from our example here taking this electronic configuration of carbon taking this electronic configuration of carbon um this is 1s 2s 2p this excited state so let's say we want to form methane let's say we want to form methane now in methane this is ch4 in which you want carbon then hydrogen 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 so what will happen here is that we need to hybridize all four orbitals why this is because if we have this carbon and then we have we have p orbitals hybridize the sp orbitals and then you will have s orbitals from hydrogen so these are s s s s from hydrogen this is hybridized sp orbital which are four in number so we need to have four hybridized sp orbital to form the four bonds this is hydrogen 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 the hydrogen and here is where the electrons will be pairing so here we will hybridize all four orbitals and our resulting carbon atom molecule carbon atom will be seen like this we have already hybridized all four orbitals and it will result in sp3 hybridization kwa hiyo tunahitaji bond nne ambazo zote ni sigma lakini tufanye mfano nataka kutengeneza ethene hasa ethene ukichola inakuwa ni c double bond c then inakuwa hydrogen 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 kwa ukiangalia hapo utagundua nini nikwambia hapa one among the bonds is sigma while another is pi kwa convert kimchukua let's say this is carbon number 1 and this is carbon number 2 hapa zote zinafanana kwa hiyo unachukua yote let's say we are taking carbon number 1 carbon number 1 na sigma bond ngapi moja this is sigma this is sigma and this is also sigma carbon number 1 na sigma bond tatu so we need three sigma bonds lakini ana pi bond mmoja kwa one pi bond hiyo ni lugha kwamba we need three hybridized orbital <clears throat> and then we need one unhybridized orbital unhybridized orbital so what we are doing that we already have carbon with excited electrons uh, here we have one electron so we already have carbon with this shape 
and we need three hybridized orbitals. So we will mix one S and we will mix two P orbitals. One of the P orbitals will remain unhybridized. So we will end up with and then so here this this one and this all of these they are sigma bonds and this is pi bond so you see now hybridization of carbon in a thin becomes sp2 hybridization and not sp3 as in methane now here you get something that the type of hybridization can differ depending on the bonds present in that molecule now that the second example sp2 and then let's take an example you want to make a fine which is carbon triple bond carbon then hydrogen hydrogen you have sigma bond here sigma bond sigma bond then these two they are pi bonds So, <clears throat> as you can see, that if we take this as carbon number one, and you want to know, we want to know the type of hybridization, then taking this as excited carbon atom, excited carbon atom, one s, two s p so because here we have two sigma bond and two pi bond means you need two hybridized and two unhybridized so our resulting molecule will be seen as our resulting molecule so these two the SP hybridized means you have mixed one S and one P and is it two they are unhybridized. So these are the one which will form pi bonds. So you see hybridization in ethane is SP hybridization. And if you receive even in the formation of bonds if you are told maybe to draw the structure of a thin, a thin appears as carbon and then you have another carbon there. So this has P orbital and this P orbital overlap with P orbital that one. This is the end to end overlap. So this forms sigma 1. And then also in this side we have p orbital. In this side also we have p orbital. This p orbital will bond to s orbital of hydrogen, and this will bond to s orbital of hydrogen. So here we will have end to end overlap. This will be sigma bond, and this will be sigma bond. This will be hydrogen, and this will be hydrogen. So from there now, for example, here in ethene. I mean, here I want to draw a thine, a thine, not a thin, a thine, with three, with three bonds or with three triple bonds. So here we will have orbitals with sideway overlap, p orbitals with sideway overlap. So if you are looking at them, you may see them as, as if they, they are undergoing they are undergoing end-to-end -end overlap, but it's not end-to-end -end in such. It is sideways overlap. 
so you see like this and then you have other orbitals here also you see like this if you go in books like Chandi you may observe these diagrams well but this is what happens in the structure of a thine but if it is a thin a thin now a thin will have carbon and then carbon will have an orbital this orbital will have carbon also on this side then you have p orbital you have p orbital we have p and then we have p orbital hydrogen will have hydrogen hydrogen and then hydrogen then what will happen is that you will have the end to end overlap of the orbitals the sideway overlap this is end to end forming sigma this is sideway forming pi so here is the mixture of the knowledge from the knowledge from the pi and sigma bond and also knowledge of hybridization as you can see here sp hybridized orbital for example is methane and example of the example of the sp2 hybridized molecule is is a thing and example of the sp sp hybridized molecule is a thing so for example here the the question example question indicate type of hybridization in the following indicate type of hybridization in the following so for example ethane ethene ethane heptafluoride and cyanide hydroxide so in all of these molecule <coughs> in all of these molecule uh you need to to indicate the type of hybridization in the central atom and for all of these molecules for example these three we have already done them so the problem maybe can be with this added fluoride and, and but no no problem here we have sample answers sample answers so we have examples and solution here for example the type of hybridization in a thin is sp and we have explanation here but uh, i don't have time to explain because of many things that we want to cover so i will just put these notes in my telegram group subscribe the channel and join the telegram group through the link in the description below and i hope you'll find this these notes there in my telegram group and you can learn more about hybridization in molecule and further examples thank you everybody in the next lecture we shall going to see about the shapes of molecules and ions and we are running almost near to the end of this topic of nice studies